Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Today, we need to talk about the fact that the Ace family just announced something very, very insane that I honestly didn't see coming and shockingly not clickbait. They posted a video titled The End of the Ace Family on YouTube and yeah, they said that this is gonna be their last year on YouTube. This is definitely crazy and they also announced something else that kind of sounds like a scam, but we're gonna get into it. This video, like I said, they said that this was going to to be their last year on YouTube. Austin and Catherine basically explained that they wanted to do this last year, but things didn't really work out. And they decided that 2022 was going to be one of the biggest years for them. And it was also going to be their last posting regularly on YouTube. And they said that the reason for this is because they really want to spend time traveling with their kids and they want to go all over the place. And so they don't want to have to think about posting videos and things like that. This year we've been talking about how we're going to make this year 2022 our last year on youtube because next year in 2023 we want to do a lot of traveling with the family what i mean by traveling i mean probably traveling for like half the year they want to just enjoy being with each other and not have to focus about recording or anything like that. They said that they do love what they do and they love posting on YouTube, but they just need this time away because they've been online for just so long and they don't think that they're going to leave forever. They just won't be consistently posting on their channel like they have been. This leads into the other thing that they were talking about because they made two announcements in this video. That was just one of them. That was like their sad news. And the other one was going to be this thing that they have been teasing for quite quite some time, which you guys, it sounds crazy. And when you think about all of the events that the Ace family has put on, this one just sounds like Tanacon. Um. Like when they were describing this and when I went on the website for this, all I could think about was Tanacon. That's literally it. I mean, you guys are going to hear this and you're going to be like, hmm, Tanacon. And if they do pull it off, then great, amazing. I hope it does work out. I hope everybody that pays this big chunk of change to go to this event that they're putting on gets their money's worth because this is expensive. But basically, the Ace family announced that they are going to be doing a Ace Family Festival. Yes, you guys heard me correctly. An Ace Family Festival festival. This is something that they claim that they have been working super hard on. They've been planning it. They've been trying to figure out just all the logistics for this. Clearly Ace Family, this event is different than all the other events we've ever had. Instead of you guys sitting in your seat and just watching the show, you guys get to actually be a part of the event. You guys get to go on rides. You guys get to play games. You guys get to interact with all the other Ace Family members. You guys get to hang out with us. Like it is literally a full experience. This is going to be one where people can walk around. There's going to be apparently performers. There's going to be games. There's a lot of planning that should be going into this, but also I have a lot of questions. So they said that only 5,000 tickets are available and they keep stressing that people need to set their alarms in order to buy these tickets because usually they have like 20,000 tickets and this time they only have 5,000 tickets and so they really think that it's going to sell out and I don't want to know who's going like are you any of you guys going I just have so many questions about this people trust them with their money it is truly wild to me but this is something that they are very excited to put on and they've been teasing it for the past couple of weeks that they're working on something big and their next big event is happening and so I'll read you guys the description description from their website. They said the Ace Fest is a one day festival for people of all ages starting from noon to 10 p.m. The Ace Fest has a variety of free games, free rides, and free prizes, as well as free access to wildlife animals and live performers. Think of this festival as the ultimate family playground for you and your loved ones to have the time of your life. Ace Fest official date and location will be released when tickets go on sale April 9th. Please don't miss out. This may be the last Ace Family event. So they also said on the website that it's um. Disneyland meets Coachella. And honestly, those are pretty high expectations and I don't know how they're gonna pull it off. But something in the description that they also mentioned in the video is that they do not have an official date and they do not have a location yet. So that's where I have a lot of questions. Like, I don't know why they didn't just announce it once those things were finalized. Those seem kind of important. 
but they did say that it would probably be in August and that it will be in LA. They just don't know when and exactly where it will be. They claim that people that are going to buy tickets will know by the time the tickets go on sale, which is good because if it was after, that would really suck and seems a little sketchy. So hopefully they figure that out soon because the tickets are literally going on sale in a couple weeks, April 9th. You would think that they would have it figured out. One question you guys are probably asking right now, which is when is the actual festival? When is it? When's the day and where is it? Where's the location? So we can't give that to you today, but you'll obviously have it when the tickets go on sale. We will say that the event is here in the Los Angeles area. And we will say that the event will be happening sometime in August. But anyway, that's what they're claiming. And there are two different passes that you can buy, you guys, okay? The crazy thing is that they basically said when planning this event, they consulted Ace family members, like their fans, and asked them what they think the prices should be. They were throwing out numbers. And then they said that the Ace family fans that they were talking to thought that these prices were great and that it was totally worth it and you know everything was justified the price was justified there's a lot of costs that go on with these events i mean we've done so many events now that we we know what it entails but we've never really like talked to you guys about what it entails yeah. we do want to say they're going to be completely you know 100 thousand percent safe so we're gonna have a lot of extra security making sure that everyone feels good feels safe also we kept going back and forth with the pricing try to find you know like a happy medium just to make sure that we cover all the costs and that everyone's really happy with it so we reached out to some of our ace family members some of the supporters that we've been in contact with over the years like some of the car giveaways that we did and we asked them hey what do you think about the prices and they all said that they were super excited and that they agreed that the price was fair so the prices for the first pass is basically $300. It's $299. They claim it's a $900 value. This one pass counts as three tickets. So basically you buy one ticket and you can bring two people with you. There's no individual ticket, which I think is interesting. I mean, I guess it's like for families, but I feel like a lot of people would just want one ticket. So that kind of sucks. They claim that, you know, you're going to get access to the festival and a free autograph poster of the Ace family. Then they have another pass, which is $4.99 and it's valued at $1,500. And this one, you can bring four people with you to the event. And this pass, you guys, they claim is valid for the entire year of 2022. So you're basically buying buying this pass and it grants you access to events that Ace Family is doing this year, plus possibly more stuff. And what I mean by that is that they say that if you buy this pass, not only will you be guaranteed to meet them at the event, you will also get to watch Austin's next fight for free, which when is his next fight? Like, is that even planned? Is that a guarantee? Like what happens if these events get canceled? But anyway, aside from watching Austin's next fight, you will also have a chance to get picked to join them at Austin's next fight going in person. And on top of that, you will also have the chance to maybe join them at their wedding. Yes, you guys, their wedding. They made the announcement in this video that they are going to have a wedding this year. And they said that two people that buy the VIP pass will get to go to their wedding. So that is so interesting to me. But yes, they're already married in case anybody is confused. They did get secretly married in their house. It took them a while to announce that, but that is something that occurred. They just never had a big wedding. And apparently that is going to happen this year. Besides all that, they also said that everybody is going to get an exclusive wedding gift. I have no idea what that means, but everybody that buys the VIP pass is going to get this wedding gift. Very, very interesting to me, this whole thing. I really want to know how it's going to be, how it's all going to go down. And they basically put a timeline of the possible dates of these events. They said on the website, key dates, exact dates and locations will be shown when the tickets go on sale if anything changes, you will be updated via text. So in June, picking two random VIP pass members plus your four guests to join us for the fight. July is going to be Austin's next fight. 
And then August, it's going to be Ace Fest. After Ace Fest, they're going to be picking two random members plus your four guests to join them for their wedding. And September is going to be their wedding and when people are going to be receiving their exclusive wedding gift. Who knows what that's going to be, but this is the timeline of events that the Ace family has going on for this year. I honestly cannot wait to see what you guys have to say about this because this is very wild. I did not expect them to put on an Ace family festival and call it Disneyland meets Coachella. I mean, I just feel like those are really high expectations and they should really just aim towards like, this is going to be like a carnival, like a pop-up carnival, a weekend carnival. I definitely want you guys to let me know your thoughts in the comments comments down below about everything that you think about this, the price of the tickets, the fact that they don't have a place, the fact that they don't have a date yet, all the things they're promising, plus the fact that they are quitting YouTube. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.